In this video, I'm going to be talking about 25 plus fun golf games to play out on the course. So we're going to be talking about golf games you can play if you're a single player out there, you know, doubles, three, four people, even five, six, seven, eight people, and all, all the way up to 12 people as well. So I'm going to go through the full list of all these different games. So pretty much however many people you have in your group, um, you're going to find fun in these as well. We're going to be talking about ones if you want to play for like, you know, betting money, maybe just for fun and also some drinking games as well. Okay, so I will just mention our gear giveaway before. If you want to enter in, we do every 1,000 subscribers. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment giveaway down below, do those three things and you'll be automatically entered. Okay, so let's start with golf games for single players. The first one's going to be best ball. And this is the most common golf course game that a single golfer would play. All you have to do is hit two or three balls each hole and then only count the best score of the, the, the two or three balls, right? Um, you often hit the second ball much better and it does really help you improve your game. After your first shot, you can kind of see, uh, you know, what what kind of thing needs improved and you, so you don't make the same mistake again. So it's really good if you really need to improve your game. Number two is going to be worst ball. And if you want a slightly more challenging version of best ball, you can flip it around and play worst ball. It's very similar, but all you have to do is hit two or three balls each hole and then count the worst score. See if you can still get your normal score. So this definitely is more challenging than best ball, um, but it is more so for the better player who wants to challenge themselves. Number three is going to be Herman and Sherman. So this is a little bit of a more advanced golf game, but it actually is really fun. So all you have to do is play hole one and two with a draw for every single shot and then play hole three and four with a fade for every shot and then you just have to repeat this process for the remaining holes it is hard yes uh, but it is really fun so let's talk about golf games for two players so first is going to be the stable ford and this can be done in groups of two or more so it's not just for two people but it is similar to stroke play but instead of having a score based on the par of the course you earn points for the score you do get so you get one point for a bogey, two points for a par, three points for a birdie, four for an eagle, and then five for a hole in one. Uh, you basically just add up the points, the person with the most points wins. Two is going to be string ball, and this can be done in groups of two, three, or four people. So it is pretty interesting, um, and it's really quite fun. You need to bring scissors and string to the course, and then the first thing you need to do is figure out how everyone's handicap. So let's say if someone has a 10 handicap, you're basically gonna give them 10 feet of string. And then what you can do is if you do have a bad shot and you're in kind of a bad lie, maybe you're in like a hazard or a buried thing, you can pull out your string and you can move the ball um, pretty much as far as you want. Um, so if you have 10 feet of string, you could ideally move the ball 10 feet in any direction, but then you would have to cut that much string off. And then basically you can even get string back if you do get a birdie. Um, you don't have to play that way, but sometimes you can. So this is a pretty cool game and um, it makes kind of things uh, pretty interesting. Next will be Bingo, Bango, Bongo. And this can be done in groups of two, three, or four. Um, this is really a good game for people with different skills levels. So the first person get on the green gets one point. The person who is closest to the pin after everyone is on the green gets a point. And then the person who sinks the putt first also gets a point. So there's three points per hole. Highest score at the end wins. Next to me, Nazo, and this can be done in groups of two or more. And this does take the round and split it into three parts. So the person who has the best score on the front nine is gonna get a point. The person with the best score on the back nine gets a point. And then the person with the best score overall gets a point. So there is three points. And you can also put a bet on each part. Um, you know, you can bet maybe like 10 bucks, uh, you know, 10 bucks per part or whatever you want, and it kind of makes things more interesting. Um, if you don't always, uh, if you aren't always the best to, you know, as you start, um, this could be a good option if you, if you finish stronger than you start. Uh, but overall, it's a pretty cool game as well. Golf matches for three players. So it's gonna be six, 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 and there's gonna be six points up for grabs on each hole. If someone wins the hole outright, they're gonna get four points. Uh, the player that comes in second gets two points. Uh, if the two bottom players do end up tying, they both get one point. So the first person got four, um, and then the remaining two would get two points. Um, so equals six, right? If two players tie for the win, they each get three points, and the bottom player gets none. Person with the most score wins, right? 
Um, next to me, Ghost. And this is a game with three real players and one imaginary player. So one person is going to be paired with the ghost and the other two are going to form a team. The ghost is going to par every hole. So it's best to put the ghost with the worst player in the group. Um, the team with the best score at the end wins, right? It's kind of, um, you know, I didn't really, I, I just kind of learned about this one not too long ago. Um, played it, it actually is quite fun. Next to me, Snake, and this is another one of my favorites for three players. Um, the first thing you need to do is set a bet. So whenever someone three puts a hole, they're gonna become a snake, right? So you set a bet, um, it could be, you know, $10, $20, $30, whatever. Um, if someone else three puts, they're gonna become the new snake. The person who is the snake at the end of the round has to pay the set bet, right? So if you do, um, you know, $10 or whatever, um, you'd have to pay the other two players $10 each, that kind of thing. So it makes things pretty interesting. Golf games for four players, first gonna be lagging, and once everyone has landed on the green, the player closest to the pin gets three points, the second closest gets two points, the next closest gets one point, and the furthest person away gets zero points. So the player with the most points by the end is going to win. Next is gonna be green sums, and this is game is this is similar to four sums if you've ever played that. The difference is that each player is gonna have a tee shot. Um, you're then gonna pick the best ball. Um, so you, you both are gonna shoot your tee shot, and then you're gonna choose what ball you wanna play, and then you're basically going to alternate shots after that. The team with the lowest score at the end is going to win. Next is going to be gruesomes, and this is very similar to green sums, um, but the difference is after the tee shot, your opponent is gonna pick which ball you have to play, and then you alternate after that. Next will be one putt poker. So this is a game where you're going to assign a three putt a certain value. Let's say two bucks, right? If someone three putts a hole, each person is going to put two dollars into the pot. Anytime a player one putts, they're going to be given a playing card, just a regular playing card. At the end of the round, the player with the best poker hand is going to win the pot. Um, so basically the player with the most one putt is going to have the best odds. So golf games for five, six, seven, eight, and 12 people. Um, see the full list on our website. A, a lot of the games um, in this list are going to be ones we've already talked about. And then there's some additional ones as well. So I don't wanna make this video too long. Um, so you can go on our website, the link will be down below so you can check out our full list. But let's talk about some drinking games to play on the course. So the first is going to be Boozy Bunkers. So the first player to hit their ball into a bunker has to take a shot or a shotgun of beer and the second player to find the bunker has to take two shots or shotgun two beers and so on and so forth so it can get a bit messy um, but then again it is pretty fun next is going to be uh, a par three challenge so this game is for all the par three holes the player who lands closest to the hole doesn't have to drink the rest of the players do and then if you do miss the green entirely it's going to cost you extra drinks next is going to be mulligans so you're basically able to take a mulligan anytime you want, but there is a catch. And the catch is every time you take a mulligan, you also have to take a shot or a shotgun of beer. Again, could get pretty messy, uh, but is very fun as well. And my favorite kind of drinking game is going to be the number of beers you drink throughout the round is the number of strokes you can take off your, your score. So if you do drink six beer throughout the round, then at the end you can deduct six strokes from your game person with the lowest score is going to win um, but pretty much if you'd like to see our full list of golf course games click the link in the description down below and if you have any questions leave a comment down below I'll get back to you as soon as I can and we will see you in the next video